what's the best way to wow a girl? How do you impress them? Okay, fun question. Um, well, first of all, that's a very subjective question because there's no two same people in the universe. And even though men and women are different biologically, I mean, technically, they're a different species. A woman is a fourth dimensional creature by nature, fully integrated into the fourth dimension because of the womb aspect and the creators of giving and receiving of life. And men are by nature on this planet, third dimensional construct, which means they are vision, action, form, touch, taste, feel. Men, women are more emotional. Um, in, uh, intuitive as far as their interior world goes, they're more um, they're more about the feeling space than the visual representation. So one thing I could recommend is is you know studying the differences because I know for me like I've been deep diving in that the last few years to study the difference between the the, the male conscious being versus the female. And it doesn't really matter about sex because there can be women that have more of a dominant male and vice versa and gender neutral, but can still play more dominant masculine. So I'm not I'm not limiting this to labeling, but I'm saying as far as like a black or white question goes. Um, I mean, obviously, the tr the right answer to this question is, you know, be authentically yourself, because. You don't want to wow a girl who is not wowed by you. You want to you want to be you and blow someone's mind because of you being completely yourself. Now I know a lot of you guys that have that are different, that feel different, that are empaths, that are sensitive, that have extrasensory abilities. We always think and I I had this belief system for years that I was never going to find anybody because it was so weird, right? Or that I knew so much or that I could see so much or that, you know, I mean, I really did have that belief system buried deep inside me. And I definitely proved that to myself for a really long time that I couldn't find that um, until I found that wound and cleared it. But ultimately, I wouldn't even discover those woundings if I hadn't been practicing being completely authentic. Like, I don't want to live a double life. I don't want to hide the fact that I speak light language. I don't want to hide the fact that what I do for a living. I don't want to hide my inappropriate personality. Like, I don't want to hide my sexuality. I want to be completely transparent. And I want someone that matches that level of transparency because that's what you're actually looking for. Um, like attracts like, right? So when we're not being ourselves, we attract someone else who isn't being their selves. And then we get disappointed when the relationships end because either one of us are being ourselves. We're being what we think we each other wants or what each other needs. And the mask always falls off within three months. So ultimately, the way that that you want to wow a girl is to wow yourself with your own with your with your own like you need to be your own like like cheerleader, like your inner badass like confidence now i will tell you there is this, there is one frequency that is the most physically alluring and attractive quality regardless of sex age body type background economic structure and that is confidence okay a confident woman can pretty much get any man she wants a confident man who is not arrogant. I'm not talking about arrogance. I'm not talking about narcissism. I'm talking about a confident person who knows thyself. I am just me being me in all my weird glory. And I'm owning it and I'm rocking it and I'm repping it and I'm singing it and I'm talking about it and I'm sharing it and I'm not apologizing for it. I'm 100% owning it. You can see it in the comfort level of the way that you wear your skin. And that's to me, as a as a former single girl, just a few months ago, it was like confidence. You don't have to be the best looking guy, the best educated guy, the richest guy. You don't need any of those things. You just need confidence. And this is who I am without apologizing or being abrasive about it, just being in this place of grace about it. By far the most attractive quality on the planet to anyone in anything. Matter of fact, it makes you feel safe. 
being around someone's genetics when they feel confident because you feel safe in their company, okay? So that would go for you, working on your confidence and giving yourself permission to be yourself, giving yourself permission to be all of you and not worrying about that being too big because bottom line is if there's a you, there's someone else who fits you perfectly. In this universe, there's always two heads and there's a head and tail to a coin. Now, I believe in multiple, 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 multiple soulmates. I don't think that there's one person for each of us. Because when I have been reading psychic readings in the past, I have seen multiple soulmates for people at different places in their reality. So it's like, okay, if I'm in this vibration over here doing this with my life, this is going to be my soulmate. But if I choose to fork in the road and then go over here and pursue this, then, and I become this person because I have free will choice, then I'm going to be more of a match to this soulmate. So you really have a lot of choice here, but based on who you are and what you're creating. So for you, a very multi-dimensional man, a very woke man, a very deep thinker, really profound abilities. You're, you know, you're probably like, uh, we have this tendency to, the, the more, the more, it, bigger our toolboxes sometimes or our awareness is the more we judge ourselves because of how different we are in comparison you know nobody can nobody can hear what i'm saying okay that's actually technically a lie but if you base your belief systems off of what you've seen you are vibrating at a place of self judgment there so of course you're going to think that there's nobody for you but there is someone for you in this timeline that you're vibrating right now if you would just turn away from the man or woman look within work on your confidence your ambition your purpose your joy your play your abundance and then when you turn back around she's like oh my god you're the most amazing man in the entire world and we fit together like this perfect puzzle piece, right? Which means that you don't have to wow someone, be unauthentic, and then hope they like you, and then later on decide you don't like them because you can't be yourself. You know, I, I mean, I, I know I got really burnt out on that whole process. I'm sure you guys are too, any of you that are single, right? But that's how you wow a woman is transparency and ownership, which is confidence. like confidently owning your transparency and you know what there's eight billion people in the world you only need one okay so and like magnets no matter where they are in the world no matter where you are in the world those satellites will come together when you are in alignment with you so that's it that's your only homework that's a lot but it's not really 